Hello and welcome. This is John Velp with Send the Light Distribution. And today I just want to show you some of the upcoming changes we're having on our website. Uh, the biggest feature is a brand new design. We've been working on this for a couple months and we think you're going to love it. Along with the new design, we're also releasing a new search engine. And also some of the various sections on the website have changed a little bit. Uh, so I wanted to go over those. Um, one of our main goals with this new design was to really uh, just help you find products easier and faster. Uh, we went back to the basics and tried to really strip down the site uh, and really make the products pop out. Uh, just make the whole experience easier for you. Um, so let me just get right into it. Uh, the first thing I wanted to just go over quickly is just the, the new design, the way things are laid out a little bit different. Uh, the biggest change is the search bar is no longer on the left hand side it's moved up to the top um, and you can still do the same thing you can search by title by author by category uh, even product ean SKU. Uh, we currently look over i think 24 different product fields and that ranges from like series to season um, all kind of different things um, but one of the new things you can also uh, use this drop down to drill into uh, various other options. So if you wanted to look for uh, just keywords in the title or just keywords in uh, the author field, uh, let me just give you a quick example that our, our data, Nancy Key with our da data department really likes this example. Uh, for example, if you look for Moody, DL Moody or an author Moody, but we're just going to look for Moody in the title. So if I do search, this will show up. Uh, get the results for all the products that have Moody in the title. Now we can go back and we can change that to say, okay, I really wanted to show uh, products where Moody is the author. So as simple as doing that, and now we get Josh Moody, uh, DL Moody again, and Van Moody. And finally, we can do publisher or vendor, which will give us Moody Press. So that's just a quick way uh, to use that. And you can also, a uh, new feature, you can search within a category. Uh, you can search for products within Bibles, books, all of our big categories. And this can be almost like a small Bible search, for example. We could do uh, Bibles and then do large print. And this is going to bring up any products that have large print that are in the category Bibles. So we can do that and then uh, get our results that way. Uh, another good example I like to use is if we do maps, for example, uh, we can do homeschooling. So that should give us all the homeschooling maps. Uh, which you, we can also change that to church supplies. And that should give us uh, maybe VBS stuff. Yeah, VBS, a prayer map. Um, so those are some of the, the different ways you can use uh, the new search here. Uh, let me just go back. I want to do a quick generic search uh, just for the word gifts. And I want to show you some of the new uh, search options that we have. So most of it is, is the same, but some of the things I want to highlight is the ability to sort. Uh, now it defaults by new and best selling uh, with this option right here. Um, and what that does, it uh, ranks the search result by release date. So the newer the product is, the higher it's going to be ranked. But it also looks at sales data to push any best-selling titles at the top too. So you've got those two, the release date and the, the sales of a product, to really help push the most uh, relevant product to the top. And we've also changed the number of uh, products per page. It used to be 10. Uh, but one of our improvements we're hoping that you'll like is you know, more products per page. It defaults to 25 but you can change it all the way up to 75 if you want to. Uh, the other option is availability. Uh, by default, it shows any stock level. That means if the product has zero to all the way up to uh, 43,000 or 38,000 on hand, it'll show up, but you can change that. Say you wanted to show only products that, uh, that have one or more in stock. We can change that to only show me products that are in stock. It'll go back and remove all the products that are, that are in stock. And you can do something similar uh, by default. Uh, we have our status as active and special order, but maybe you don't want any special order products. Maybe you wanted uh, just active. You can do that, or we can just do special order. 
or if you wanted to do out of print, um, you can do that as well. And then we also have uh, the search filters, which are uh, the same as before. Our main categories, our subcategories, we have our formats, uh, vendors. And again, the search filters just kind of help narrow down the results. Like we did a very broad gift search. Uh, we can look at gifts within Bibles, uh, music gifts, all the way down to these subcategories such as hat or ties. Uh, let me just highlight some of the new ones that we just released, uh, such as discount. And we can narrow down uh, our search results by discount. So say we wanted to only see gifts that were, I don't know, 40 to 80% off. Uh, we can do that. Uh, we can go back down and we can, we can readjust that again. If we wanted to increase the discount, we can do that. Uh, we can also have the ability to uh, adjust the discount, or sorry, the retail price. If we wanted to only show products um, you know, that were in a small range, maybe looks like it's 30 cents all the way up to $100, we can do that here as well. Um, so just some new features with our search engine. Um, the results themselves are, are very similar. One of the biggest change uh, I think you guys are really going to love, one of the things we tried to do was remove the friction between adding a product to your cart. I know before it was you'd add it, go to your shopping cart, come back to your search results, a lot of back and forth. But one of the big features that we're really proud of is the ability to add products to your cart without leaving the page. So for example, if we wanted to add this uh, purse here, we could just uh, say you want four of these and click on the add to cart button. And what that does it in the background adds that item to our shopping cart. So we could at that point continue to our shopping cart or we could just continue down with our results uh, going through and add, adding products to our cart um, and changing your quantities. Um, so hopefully that'll be a, just a, an easier way for you guys to add products. Um, let me go back to the home page and one of the our most popular pages is our top selling page which lists uh, some of the CBA bestsellers as well as some of our own. We also have Advocate bestsellers as well. Um, and where this new Add to Cart button really comes in handy is on this page where you can go through these, these top selling products and quickly add them uh, to your cart without you having to go back and forth between your shopping cart. Um, so hopefully that provides you with a seamless kind of shopping experience. Um, so let me go to one more section here. We also redesigned all of our browse by sections. I just want to highlight just one of them. They all kind of work the same. Let me highlight the author and the artist. Um, by default, it's going to list all of our authors that we carry. Um, so you can easily scroll through here and find the author you're looking for. Or if you know the author's last name, maybe first name, uh, you can just use this quick search bar. Uh, we just did Secret Church at our local church here, so I've got David Platt on my mind here. So I'm just going to type in Platt. And immediately you see it comes up with the result. And if I click on it, it's going to show me all the products uh, by David Platt. Um, so let's go back one more. So maybe you're not 100% sure. Maybe you just know the author's name is Smith. You can just type in Smith and it'll narrow it down to all the authors that have Smith in the name, whether it's the last name. It looks like they're all in the last name. So this works very similar in our publisher's vendor section too. Um, you can type in their name, the vendor's name, and it'll, it'll limit the list. Uh, you can even choose a product type. Let's say you wanted to see just our vendors that are our gift vendors. Uh, you can easily do that as well. Um, so the last thing I wanted to show you is our new advanced search. And that can be accessed by going up here to advanced, next to the search uh, button here, or also to the Bible search. We've combined advanced search and Bible search into one because um, it kind of really covers both areas. So let me scroll down just a little bit. Um, and one of the you know one of the frustrations we keep hearing from customers is you know you go through and you choose all these options for your advanced search, you click submit, uh, and then you get no results. So there's no really immediate feedback to the options you're choosing, whether it's going to bring up results or not. So I, we designed the new advanced search to, to really kind of answer those, answer those issues. So let me just start. I'm just going to do, we'll just do veggie tails. 
and we'll leave everything blank for now. So if we look down here, we immediately see we've got 308 results. And one of the cool things about it, as we go through and we change these options, it's going to dynamically change the rest of the options below it. So if we go into categories here, let's say we want to do video, we immediately see the results have dropped down to 110, and uh, we know we want it to be in stock. And what else can we choose? Let's do we'll do DVD finally. So right now we're looking for VeggieTales video DVD and want it to be in stock. So we know immediately we're going to have 78 results. So let's just go. We'll just take a look at that. And there we go. So we get immediately 78 results in our in our search. Um, so let's just go back. We'll go back and try one more. I want to show you how we now combine the Bible search with the advanced search. So let's just go through and we'll go down to the Bible specific section. And we'll look for uh, an English Standard Bible. And let's do, let's go up to binding here and we'll choose, we'll go with the real deal. We'll choose genuine leather. So you see we only have one result. So we can go back and we can say, well, let's just go with regular leather. So we have 74 results. Um, and let's see if we can have one that's indexed. Yep, we've got 17 that we can do indexed. Uh, we want it to be brown. So immediately we're getting you know, immediate feedback to the choices that we're making. Uh, we can see we have two results. Now we're not having to go back and forth between you know, the results and the search, uh, the advanced search. We immediately know what we're going to have. Let me just look at those. And there we go. We've got our two leather Bibles that we know are available and um, can go from there. So that's about it for some of the major changes, uh, the overall design, the search engine being the two largest. We've actually spent time redesigning all aspects, all aspects of the site, all the way down to the shopping cart, the My Account page, and even down to the way you add Bible in printing and indexing, uh, the song finder. Everything's been redesigned just to make the whole site work better, and we hope you like it. All right, God bless.